Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode 31 of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by Theme Park Connection in Winter Garden, Florida. A great place for all your theme park Christmas shopping. And it's almost Christmas. It's almost so. Christmas. And Maple Leaf Tickets. Another great place for your theme park shopping for tickets, our official ticket uh, And not sponsor. just theme parks, but uh, but dinner shows and such in the, Everything. in the area. The big news this week, of course, was Test Track 2.0. The new Test Track opened this, well, soft opened this is week. It, is it officially soft? It, it's officially soft open now. It's we officially went, soft we open. We <laughs> went to the, uh, to the cast preview, right. but now as, as uh, when we record this, it's a soft open and it's going to officially open tomorrow. We actually went to two cast previews. I don't remember how many times we rode now. We Seven rode we rode a lot. It was quite a bit. Not as much as Corinne and Daniel. I think they hit 13 or 14 times. But for good reason. It's it's just fantastic. This is the queue. Uh, it's very futuristic. Uh, some people say it's Tron-like. I don't know if it's really Tron-like. I think it's the attraction is. Somewhat, somewhat. Oh, here's the Chevy Envy. I think it's called an Envy. Cool I think it looks car. like just like a bug, like a little bug that would bother you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not that the car bothers me. This is cool. <laughs> I like this little hologram here. Did you notice them in the queue? See, we I didn't did, have time in the queue. We didn't have much time because we were just like walking through the queue really fast. There was nobody there most of the time. Which was wonderful. I, I don't expect that will be the case because I think this will be very popular. Um, this is a little briefing room. They talk about design, and uh, it's kind of fitting as they talk about the, the design. You see design changes on the little car beneath. I don't miss the old queue because they used oh. to have that bang, bang, bang. bang. Yeah, I get a like, headache just thinking about it. I hated this is that. Much, it's much me more uh, enjoyable in, in every way, really. This uh, is a video telling you about uh, how you're going to be designing your car in the next room. Right, you get like a de design kiosk for two or three uh, guests. There it is, there's the little kiosk. Even though it says test track, I always think of 71 when I see that design I think for some of reason. pie, like the pie. Oh, the sim yeah. Yeah, like, the uh, symbol for pie right. every time I see it. See, we all have weird. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, in this case, we had design station number six and uh, Denise here is going to design is this my first the one? best car ever. But you were so ashamed of it. You I was not ashamed. Yes, you were. You I were am ashamed proud of it. Of it I love that car. This was the first time I'd ever you are created incorrect. it, right? You are incorrect. Yeah. This, this is a big surprise. You don't know that. Uh, well, halfway through, in. I see you like videotaping. Well, I wanted uh, some variety. <laughs> some variety. Stick you, with the topic. You didn't like Stick it. Stick with the topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to talk about the your find. Now, this is you. This is what you think is nicely aerodynamic a design for a car. And See, I want to say, it, don't go to the fast pass the first time. What is don't this? What, are, what the... is it? You wonder. <laughs> you wonder why I questioned your ability. <laughs> you wonder why. It was why. so much fun. And optimize. then you have to hit optimize. It looks which... like a crashed car, already. But then it fixes it sort of yeah it fixes it all but right. by the time it's done it doesn't really look like a any car i've ever seen i love it i think your design was uh was spectacular actually even though you say i was ashamed of it you were because you were like you were like <laughs> now you have to also <laughs> that's my car now you you have to deal with different uh variations like uh Ta power and responsiveness. I wasn't paying attention to that. I was paying more attention to the look of the car. Yeah, just the plan efficiency. And here is it. This is not my car. That is uh, Daniel, Daniel and Corinne's, Corinne's car. Because I wanted away. to show that the there you can do different <laughs> styles of cars and I do like mine weird add-ons. See, they have in the back they have rockets attached to it and everything. Yours wasn't as uh, sophisticated, but it was. Uh, See, I told you. It was ashamed. charming. It was a charming. Uh, view. Look at that. That's a charm. <laughs> and right now you're 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 doing different. Types. Tires. You, you took you a long time to come up with that sparkly say, paint there. Let me say this again. Don't go through the fast pass the first time through because to me this is one of the best parts of the attraction. Well, half the fun, like, you, you know, Denise was now invested in her car. She loved the design of her car. So later on, after we get through the ride, we'll see... Uh, I don't know if I loved it, if I laughed at it, and that's good enough for me. And now it's fun when you walk out, you could see what other people have done, and uh, you can either be ashamed of the poor job <laughs> you did, or uh, proud of what a great job. I now, we just, you just missed a uh, World of Motion a symbol. Uh, symbol. There was a world... You can There'll backtrack. Be many, y there'll be many more tributes to World of Motion. Do not worry. But Do I love worry. the designing of the car, and everybody seemed to know how to make a real car but me. 
Well, speaking of real cars, even though it says we're going to go on the sim track, we're in a real car right now for a supposedly simulation of a, of a test. And we saw these cars before, like many, many months ago, or at least one of the They're cars. They're the same cars, they just have a different paint right, job. Right, but we saw the paint job many months ago. And here we go, we're going up the up ramp. And it does look like Tron, it has a very Tron-like inspirational feel. It does. It reminds me of the old uh, Disneyland the People Mover in a way when you went through the Tron section in a much more sophisticated way. I never went on the People Mover at well, Disneyland unfortunately. I will I will show you a video of it so you can see what you missed. But uh, again it's it's very cool. The first uh, test I think is responsiveness. I don't really remember. I just like the ride. Yeah, so you like the, the, the fun ride where you it go fast. It was fun. And, but you see here's the simulated rain, and you're going to avoid uh, spinning out, and, uh, and you don't want to go into this avalanche type of thing up here. So that's that's sort of the idea of it. I didn't totally understand everything, but yeah. I didn't care. I enjoyed the attraction, and I enjoyed the ride. Well, just think of it as the anti-lock brakes. You're, you're doing the anti-lock brake test. I'm not very test. familiar with that. That's the, well, this, was where the, <laughs> that's, this is where it was with the old attraction right there. And uh, here you go, the future city. And, of course, after the test is over... The Nova City. No, Nova Site, yeah. Nova yeah. Site. And it c kind of goes back into that uh, digital world, which is very cool. I like and the that tunnel. Effect. Yes. Now, coming up ahead, to me, reminds me of the finale of World of Motion because you see yourself in a car that has a... a uh, a dome, sort of a dome to it. Although in in reality, that's not the case here. You're just seeing the aerodynamics. It reminds me of Radiator Springs Racers when you see yourself. Yes, yes, and when they put the new tires on. And we had this discussion which one we preferred, and you aren't sure, but I like Radiator Springs Racers. If I better. had to choose between the well, certainly this is such a great fit for Epcot, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, it's it's right up there with World of Motion. But you asked me which one I prefer, right. and if I had a cho to choose one, it'd be Radiator Springs Racers. But this is great, just being 20 minutes from well, the house. Well, let me ask you this. If you had to make a choice between the original World of Motion, World of Motion, I, you know, I actually I love have the to World think. Of Motion. I They're have very to different. think about it. It's it's so futuristic. It's such a great Epcot attraction. They're just two different attractions. It'd be hard to it's hard to choose between the two. We had our friend uh, Kevin at the house the other day, and we had a long conversation about this. And it's just uh, it's just amazing. And there's the truck just like before. There's some areas of the attraction that are similar. Yeah, I mean it's all similar. It's rethemed, but uh, right. I just I just like the feel of it. It's fun. There's tremendous rewritability to it to me. So and here's all the different uh, design elements. And it does take a while to get through because when you're doing your car, making your car, and it does take a little bit longer. But I still think here it's we terrific. go, hands in the oh, air, yay. hands in the air. We're and going this out. This is exactly the same as before. Not exactly. Just, They've painted. They, the, if you look at the lines, and they also take okay, your photo. It's you can almost see exactly the same. They take your photo before. Not in the high speed loops before. I don't remember where they, they took, took it before. It see, but now it's sort of a pink, purplish color on right, the track. Right, there was some bluish minor tint. change. Minor changes. The track itself hasn't changed. No, that's it's what the I meant. same. Uh, really fast. And look at this. We're going. We're going. We're going zero miles an hour. The sign says, but uh, I guess that part hasn't uh, gotten fixed yet. I thought it said like 50 or 60 when I was on it. Did it? Yeah. Oh, well, there you You're go. You're just reading it wrong. Maybe it's the elder eyesight. <laughs> I'm the one with the bad eyesight. But uh, yeah, so that was a fun, fun ride. I loved it. I can't wait to go on it again, but, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. There is more fun and to And there's come. still more. Like, we're going to go check it out today. Um, there's, I think, a little bit more that's been added since we've been. Right. That's correct. Uh, more effects, more uh, working effects that weren't quite ready when we went is what I've been told. So we'll see. We'll see about that. Well, we're looking forward to it. And uh, this is the load and unload area is very some pretty much the same as it was before, too. There's two areas that were pretty much the same, the track and the load unload. But you don't know where you are. It's confusing because when you go through all those rooms, at least I didn't know where, where I was what do you mean? before where? we got to the track, before we got to the load area. Oh, there's another uh, World of Motion uh, little tribute there. I knew where I was. Well, that's good for you. I, <laughs> I did not know. I was confused in where in the building in relation to the old building. Oh, I don't know That's that. what I was talking about. I don't know. I just know the load area looks the same. So here you can sort of test to see how your car did, and you hold your, uh, what is the key card it's thing? Like you get like a key card, which you never saw here. and it, you, you did. You oh, saw it at well, the beginning. Oh, well, I didn't see it. So 
but you put it on there and it shows you your car, except in the case when it didn't, when it showed me somebody else's car. See, and it tell, it's kind of telling you, see, there's the key card. I just hit the key card and we're going to design the commercial for your car. And while we're designing the commercial, you get to choose that attribute that you want uh, the commercial to be about regarding right. your car. And then you can choose the style of music, the location, um, everything. So you can do it uh, over and over and it's a completely different commercial. We, we brought our friend Iran in there the other day and we were doing different commercials and it was it was so very some of them are very funny and some of them are very serious so it's it's just fun that's sort of an ugly car isn't it i, I made a pretty it. ugly car but it's fun but then at, now after that what's really cool is you can get on one of these uh steering wheel things and take the car you designed for a drive and it actually was opened in one uh spot and we'll show you it in action and so i there's, known there's that. our friends and there's me and i'm actually driving the car and whoops you know this is not your car this is a different car and you know, it takes a while to master the skills. Where was of I? It. You were off doing something else. <laughs> I didn't know about it. And here are the symbols on the ground. Uh, I like seeing symbols. You know, it reminds me of old Epcot somehow. It's very uh, retro to me. So, uh, and, I, and a lot of carpet. I believe there could be wall carpet too in there somewhere. We'll take a video we'll and put check. up the we'll video have to wall check carpet. About, oh, that's the Tampa Bay Lightning symbol. <laughs> But uh, here we go. I don't go. think that's what it means. I don't think that's what they're going for either. And just like before, there's a Chevrolet showroom. Uh, you can see cars. We didn't stop to look at them, but we went behind the cars where you can have your picture taken with the car you made in uh, different in different environments. You can choose uh, like aqua or underwater, like, underwater and very in aqua. space. But I mean, I, Polar, again, I think. what I love about it is it's now you're still invested. You're invested in this car. If you did a, a fine job with the car, it's uh, like these guys are very seriously invested in their car. <laughs> so they clearly uh, want to get our photo. And there's some uh, merchandise, there some wasn't early much, merchandise. Yeah, Not there much wasn't yet. much. And, uh, and then now we're looking outside. This is before they took the wall down and it's a giant world of motion symbol out there. So again, my vote Excellent. I really loved it, and I can't wait to go back. And same here, better than the last incarnation. Our next segment is a look back at New Fantasyland. And we, over the past two, about two and a half years, uh, have had, uh, I think we have 123 videos and about 100 articles on Mouse Steps. So I put together an article uh, yesterday, 15 uh, key moments, uh, 15 of the articles out of about 100, uh, showing a look back at what now is New Fantasyland. And it was fun to, to look at your article because it brought back a lot of great memories, you know, because we did other things while we were in the parks those days. So it was kind of fun to, to go back and see all the adventures we had covering it. And this is Ariel's Grotto. There is a new Ariel's Grotto, but uh, we documented it during the last days. And it was sad because it was the last remnant of the 20,000 Leagues. It had the same volcanic rock work. And I believe some of it was actually from, it was still from 20K. So at one point, the, the, there was still water there where Ariel did her meet and greet. And there was a King Triton in the water. So it was kind of neat to see that. But it, but it was... Uh, you know, it was sad when it went away, but we knew good things were coming. Right, and that was in uh, April of 2010, just as Pooh's Playful Spot also uh, had its final days around that time. Right, right. And the Pooh, of course, you know, not a huge uh, sad loss. And it was nice that they saved the tree. Uh, Piglet went, uh, flew the coop, though. But the, <laughs> the tree was, was saved and moved to the queue of the, uh, the new attraction. And this was the final days of Toontown. We still have the Barnstormer, which is where you are. Uh, but we were there for the last night and really for the last few days before it closed down. And of course, we watched the uh, the fireworks when uh, they closed it for the last time. It was very sad when they closed the Mickey's house doors that very last time. But uh, it was nice to be there and I was glad to be part of it. And there was a group of friends and some people we didn't know, but <laughs> everybody was sad to see Mickey's Toontown uh, Fair closed down. And this was our first look at the uh, Gaston statue. Right. Uh, we found that the Winnie the Pooh uh, uh, queue allowed for a good view over. And uh, you could even see LeFou. It looks like he has something coming out of his nose. Yeah. But we were the first to post post the statue. And that was in the rain. That was a very heavy rain. So it was a good time to be inside taking those pictures. <laughs> uh, and now meeting the real Gaston. And I had just bought his shirt. I was so excited to show him that I bought his new shirt. And Cheers look at that to face. You. What's that face he has? That's the Gaston <laughs> face. And uh, here is the little mermaid. I would the say a, a, a slight improvement over the uh, mermaid grotto somehow. I would agree with that. 
Yes. And uh, there's the Be Our Guest. We actually had seen this sign also from the Winnie the Pooh queue, so we were the first also to post that. And Be Our Guest was a, a whole nother story, so you'll have to check other shows to hear our thoughts on Be Our Guest. And we want to talk also about Christmas Town at Bush Gardens. We were invited to a media event and uh, had a great time. It was opening night. It was was last uh, Wednesday opening night, and it was fantastic. I mean, the decorations really put you in the Christmas spirit, more so than probably anywhere outside of SeaWorld. This is a a nighttime hard ticket event. You have a special, uh, oh, there's some flamingos. Uh, There there are lights everywhere, which I love. I love it when they light up the whole park. Right, everywhere you went, there was beautiful Christmas lighting. And this was uh, the area right by where the ice show is. And they have a sort of a tree, I guess that's their, uh, their symbol. And there's an ice show uh, at night, and there's an ice show during the day. So if different you were, ice show. Right. So if you were going to the hard ticket event but had been there all day, you could see two different shows, which is very nice. And I love this effect coming up. It's sort of the, the snow falling, uh, but it's from lights that are attached to the trees. I think that the first time I ever saw that was SeaWorld last year. And this is that special uh, nighttime-only ice show called Angels of Peace, A Christmas Journey on Ice. Only about 20 minutes, a little shorter than the daytime show. And uh, I think that's for the best because there's so much to see. Oh yeah, there's, we there's, only it's saw impossible. Like half of everything. We're, we're actually going back this weekend to see the rest. But uh, right, we had a, picked up tickets earlier in the season. Tremendous amount of stuff. Again, more lighting around the park. And so, uh, near here is Santa Claus, which again had a, he had a line, and we just we had so many things we wanted to do. And the and penguins. penguins. There are penguins near here. And one of the highlights of the, of the night is coming up. It's the band Jars of Clay. And they are there for every night. And uh, I think there was like 13 nights of December that this was going to happen on. Great show. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had never seen them before. I, I didn't even know that I knew their, their music, but I, I recognized some of their songs. And, of course, they actually played mostly Christmas songs. Right. It was almost all Christmas, but they did play their hit song, Flood. But this was the highlight for me, Snow World. And we had so much fun in the snow, but you have to be careful, especially at our age. We're in our 40s. Our age. Our age. We're a little older than the kids. Uh, I I don't know. I think there was quite a few elders like us uh, (laughs) playing around in the snow. Although some of our our younger friends kept falling down much worse than us. That's true. I was so careful. He is from Florida, and we're both from uh, the cold originally. You being from New Jersey and me being from Connecticut. But it's been like 30 years. And here they are. These are (laughs) our good friends, the beard and that's Robert and Ed and Robert's about to do a high speed run down the uh, ice slide and they're from Mickey Updates the website Mickey Updates and Podcasts and uh, if you listen to this uh, the actual with sound he's the loudest he's screaming as he's going down <laughs> but Ed got stuck yeah Ed uh, poor Ed got stuck I don't know how he got stuck He has look he has his backpack on which is digging into the oh. ice so uh, you don't see it but they came and dragged him the rest of the way which was kind of funny and but there's you there's, there's you sliding down it's it's much more fun than it looks right it's, it's it, so much fun. it looks like it's fun but it's, it was really really fun uh, we had fun so Christmas Town, two thumbs up we, we will definitely well we are going back right. this week so and Jars of Clay was my favorite and then Snow World so far so uh, that's it that's another week uh, be sure to uh, check out our sponsors Theme Park Connection Winter Garden Florida there is a uh, Disney and a fan club event this Friday night actually private event there and uh, Maple Leaf Tickets as well. They are our official ticket agency. And again, they sell dinner show uh, tickets. Bush as Gardens well as, tickets, I'm sure. And too. probably Bush Gardens tickets. We'd have to look. Have a great week.